What's going on, Excel fanatics? Vertex is here. I am still going down the line uh, with this formula tutorial that is was given, or that I shouldn't say given, that was downloaded from the Microsoft site. Um, the last time we went over joining text and numbers, I have gone over the if function, um, I, I believe maybe twice. I'll go back, um, possibly. I just couldn't pass up this VLOOKUP tab. Um, I, and if you are a, a, even a follower of my channel at this point, I my first video was a VLOOKUP and the sound was so low. And I want to use this moment to try to, to, try to redeem myself. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So a VLOOKUP is one of the most widely used functions in Excel. Um, I guess it's everyone's favorite. It is one of my favorites. Uh, VLOOKUP lets you uh, look up a value in the column on the left, and then return information in another column to the right if it finds a match. So the way I tried to explain it in my other video is that it's VLOOKUP's purpose, or any kind of lookup formula, is to find one piece of information within another set of information. So, that, and we can kind of walk through the criteria now, but hopefully that kind of uh, works as a pretext. Um, so yeah, here we go. So with the VLOOKUP, what do you want to look for, which will be the first criteria? Where do you want to look for it? Ah, this is, I did a good job explaining this, if you could hear me in the other video. Um, so that would be this table ar um, array. So where do you want to find it? And then if you do find it, it where what column do you want it to look at, right? So because of V, it says column here because the V uh, represents vertical. Um, so if you were using, using an HLOOKUP, it would be the same formula with criteria but the thing is it would be relating to rows um, so I said I would make a video on that maybe in the future if that helps explain it but that's why it's saying how many columns to the right of the first column do you want it to show so it's kind of like if you find it if you find the number one do you want it to sh it, it needs to show apples say because apples is right next to one uh, it's like kind of a way to like recode uh, something or whatever uh, it's a very common, that's why it's a very commonly used function. It's very, uh, it's very useful. Um, and then at the end of it, it gives you an option. This is a binary option. It's either true or false. So it goes, do you want an exact or approximate match? I always go with false. I, maybe this will cover why true would be, or what situation you use true. But the thing is with true, it'll give you an answer, or it just always tries to find an answer. But if you use false, it either finds exactly what you're looking for or it doesn't. So the thing is you always want to use false because the whole point of a lookup is to make sure you're finding something accurately. So that's why I always use true. Uh, let's see if this covers maybe, I mean, I'm sorry, that's why I would use false. Uh, let's see if this provides some kind of explanation around true. Right now it just looks like it's sticking with false. Um, so in the example in D22, enter VLOOKUP. C22, I'm just typing in, table array, C17, semicolon, D20, column 2, right? So this is column 1, because this is where it starts, and then this would be column 2, and then false. So it gives me 50, right? So I found apples, and then I just said, <laughs> and my example was the opposite of this before. Um, the It found apples, and when it finds it, I wanted to show what appears in column two. So if I change this to one, it'll just be apples, right? And if I try to do three, it'll give me an error because there isn't three columns that I'm highlighting. Uh, so with pork, uh, now try for yourself in the meat section. Let's try this real quick. So V lookup pork, table array. Column two, false. And there we go. Try selecting different items from the drop down list. Oh, these are both drop downs. So uh, that's what's another thing that's really useful here because with these drop downs, I don't even have to write the formula each time for each one of these. It's This will automatically update as I need, which is a cool trick. So the NA here, I don't really have any much time to go through the rest of this right now. And there is, it really isn't that much to go through another one. Um, so, I, I mean, I hope that this kind of helped clarify if my other videos didn't. Um, like, I'm going to provide the link for this uh, this template, so you can definitely look at it yourself. 
Uh, but thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.